I love it. I love it. Oh, I love that the headshots actually carry some weight. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is games for kicks and welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 17. In the last episode, we went through the desert, we did a little night run, and we got some airdrops, which was actually really cool. I still have it all on me, and I know I'm definitely overpacked, but we're gonna eat some of the stuff and get rid of some of the things. We're gonna make a little chest, and then we're gonna take on this little place here for our quest, dig up that treasure if possible, and then we're gonna head back home. Now, we're going to have to do a lot of grinding between things um, for iron so we can get forged iron in the trader. So we might as well do that on the stream. So this episode will be streamed and I'm going to link the full stream in the description below. But you guys are going to get only the good highlights anyway. I hope you guys are going to have a good time. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the box to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. We're going to start with this little beauty here which i only just realized is where we actually spent our first many deaths so i think we're gonna have a gun out just in case and let's go and trigger we already double looted this actually in effect because i looted it the first night and loot wouldn't have respawned so where is the head to the rally point where is the rally point oh here we go activate the rally point very good Okay, let's do this. Now, I love searching for supplies. It's great. And I have a bit, I have a, I have a feeling I know where it is. I don't know if there's any zombies actually in here because this literally, oh, look at this. It, that's it, is it? Are you kidding me? Oh, no way. Okay, we're gonna loot the rest of the house anyway. That's just, that's just, really? <laughs> And no zombies. Are you kidding me? Oh, I was just about to say. There we go. Look at that. I have a blue bow now. Actually, that paint that I found at the end of the last episode, we put onto the bow and um, it made it a bit stronger. So if you look at the old bow, that is the same bow. 29 damage. And this one is 33 damage. Projectile velocity 54. Is that the same? Yeah, 54. So it has a it has 400 more durability. Holy balls. Well, it is le sorry, it is level two. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have more durability, but it has more damage because of the blue uh, modifier, which is color. I don't know why color gives you extra damage. It just doesn't make sense. But hey ho. Okay, so let's get the gun out just in case. I can hear you. Oh yes, we have to make the bigger club. Actually, let me just go out here and let me queue up the bigger club already. I can't believe I forgot this again. Club. There we go. Scrap that. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay, let's see if our club is ready. There we go. Nice. So what's the improvement here? This is now 21 damage. Okay, excellent. We're going to take that. I take it. I can live with that. Okay, if we follow the light, this is usually where you have the big treasure. But let's go through the rest of the... Oh, nice. I love it. What do we get? We got the... Um... Oh, nice. This is good for selling. We actually wear this already, so we can scrap this. Probably it's only four quid. Because we're going to have to go to the trader afterwards. So let me just go through this here. There's a box up there. Excellent stuff. So we have to be careful. Sometimes they sneak up on you in this house because they hear you. And I had to turn the game sound a little bit down so you guys can hear better. Because for some reason on stream it's not as clear. Is this... Let me see. Is this a room or is that just the outside? Oh, that is the front room okay what else do we have nothing here is there any hidden stuff anywhere oh there's something up there Ooh, i don't think i ever paid attention to that let me see okay seriously there's something there i can see it Oh, 
Let me just go one over, actually. There's a bug. There's a bug. There's a bug. Come on. There we go. Oh, it was empty. But I didn't know there was a bag. There you go. You learn every day. There you go. I saw you. I knew you were there. There you go. Right in the noggin. That's the bathroom. Yeah, we're going to get into the bathroom from behind now anyway. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There's the bathroom. Very nice. It's actually a clean sink this time. A clean... Oh, yes. Every single time there's a gun in here. Every time. Oh, he's still alive. There we go. Nice. Ooh. Where's that noise coming from? Where's Mr. Gargle Gorg? Where's he coming from? Oh, nice. Okay, we get some water. We have a little bit of a pack mule problem right now, which is actually hilarious, seeing that we have such a big backpack. I just couldn't be arsed uh, emptying it in the trader first. So I did this here first. Oh, nice. Oil is always very important. And is this a working workbench? No, it's a destroyed one. Can we get some forged iron from that yes and we get mechanical parts that is amazing love it all right so we got a lot of forged iron which is good because this is already two more upgrades or excuse me on our horde base okay so hopefully we're not going to get slowed down too much oh hello i forgot about that yeah we should probably take these guys apart what do we get for it what do we get what do we get do we get electronic components or do we get we're getting very little Wow, that's like up to 50% of the machine, we get nothing. So out of all the hits, two hits, we got something. Wow, okay, so that is very, very poor. Um, we're probably not going to waste our time with those. Um, let me see, what do we have here? This Shamway, she should have some food in it. There we go. Okay, that's fine. So two hits, two power hits, and we're through. Very good. Okay, let's take that. What do we have here? Ah, it's empty. There we go. We can overeat. I would say that's I would say that's okay. Nice glue, very important. So we got the important stuff, the glue, the no duct tape though. Well, we got duct tape earlier, or from the last episode. So, oh, there's a ba basin as well. What is that? Loot bonus 50. Buried treasure radius. Oh, we're going to wear that. I mean, we have agility ones, but that's cool. I love that. That's pretty epic. All right, so let's get out of here. So we're just going over here. Um, and before I started recording, I wanted to get a good dig in and I was just winch bugging about how slow digging is and how painful it is. And the second block... We actually found the treasure. So there you go. It was worth it, but not if I would have had to dig half of that stuff out. Not in a million years. And I think I will not do another treasure until um, at least I have I, I have iron shovels and stamina being replenished to the level that I can just right click most of the time or just one shot it because it's just that is no, no, no. <laughs> It's just no. Anyway, um, better off going home or to the trader and uh, make sure that we hand in our quest. And then we're going to um, probably work on our horde base because we have to we have to do a lot of upgrading. So I'm going to go on a grind. Loads of iron, loads of resources, making loads of forged iron and hopefully get all the bars upgraded to iron. And that should be interesting then because... The zombies are not going to get through that easily on hard night. Oh, hey. <laughs> Gratitude. <laughs> okay, so we got the claw hammer and an iron chest armor. I don't want the armor because it penalizes me on the stamina. The claw hammer has a shitty sell price, so but it works. It's useful, I suppose. But you know what? I'm going to take this one and I'm probably going to scrap uh, to sell this one. 
Yeah, I'm going to take this. Unless this is worth more money. No, this is only 20 as well. What is this? An iron chest armor. But it, yeah, I, I don't want to be penalized for walking around. My stamina is already a problem as much as it is. So let's see if he has any jobs. This one is close by, but it's buried supply. I don't like it. So we're going to pick up Friend, the long Friend, quests, cancel them out, and um, basically force new quests to spawn in. Now, let's check the inventory here. Military boots. Genie Mac. Okay, so let me see. Oh, we have concrete mix. Wow. Okay, so let's sell this. And I think I'm going to sell these. I mean, I'm not going to make bullets for a while. So I just rather the money right now. This compound bow we're going to sell. And let me see what else do we have here that we should sell. I want to keep those classes because you never know when you need that one point of agility or one point of perception. 11,200 for boots sounds legit. Yes, it does, isn't it? Yeah, 11,200 for boots, but five quid for a pistol. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> so this is the very exciting part now where we literally just gonna have to do this for the next 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> and um, hopefully then get enough raw iron together so that we... Um, I thought that would... Look at this. This is weird. So I can hit this. I can hit this. But I can't hit this. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah. It's the interesting part to get enough raw iron together so we can have forged iron because we need another 150 forged iron. And we already have 35, which is good. So which is only 115 left. So we're going to need a lot of um, raw iron. Okay, so let's go and put in all the iron before this uh, trader closes. Now, it was a long grind, a long, long grind. So we have definitely a lot of iron. Now, I'm going to leave this here. We don't need the clay yet because... Oh, yeah, we definitely want to... 50 minutes should be enough. Now, forged iron needs five clay and ten iron. So we're nearly at the double here. So, oh, look at that. If we can kick off 30 at least, or oh, another 35, that would be 70. That would be one and a half sides. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we're going to have a little look. Um, let me see. Oh, there's no chemi station here that works. We didn't get any nitrate powder. That's interesting. Oh, it's 41. I thought it said four. I didn't. I was like, that's four. How did we not get any nitrate powder? <laughs> okay, so I know it's a waste, because, but we don't have a chemi station nearby. And the chemi station here in the trader doesn't work. I don't remember where it was, but yeah, this one sadly doesn't work either. The workbench that works in here. The workbench works and... But not the chemi station. Oh, there we go. 35. Very good. Nice. So that will be 70. It's three minutes. I'm not sure if we're going to get um, some of them out. But we'll see. And then we're going to upgrade the iron bars in the horde. And then we're pretty much up to whatever we want to do. Because our horde base is fully upgraded the way we want it. Our... Um, we can start working on um, our actual home that we want to build. Um, and the moment I'm in a POI, and um, yes, you guys were saying correctly, I don't have to worry about the POI. Um, the POI in the moment is only gets overwritten if I actually accept the quest. So if I take a quest from a trader and it shows an icon here, I just quit the quest. And that should leave all my stuff intact. So you guys are absolutely right about that. But I want to build my home kind of here maybe. Or oh, here is a nice big area. Here's also a lovely big area. But I want to keep it kind of on that side. So we might actually put it here beside the house. I wonder what happens if we remove a house. A POI that potentially is a quest hub. I wonder if it still gives you the quest to go there. And there's just nothing there. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Because uh, Or if it just rebuilds the house. It's like BAM! There's the house again when you trigger the quest. <laughs> could, could be an endless supply of resources, I suppose, in a lot of ways. Um, so let's see what we have here. We have 12. If we get 15, I'm going to leave the rest. And then I'm going to come back in the morning because it is now already half eight. And it would be great to get back to the horde base um, before nightfall. Come on, one more. There you go. Excellent stuff. All right. We haven't had a roaming horde in a while. So that, that's a bit of fun here. I'm gonna save some arrows. I'm gonna use left click for the most part. There you go. I might as well do a right click every now and then. 
Our, stam our stamina is doing all right. There we go. She's flying right back like one of the birds. She's a little bit shaken. Oh, how did that miss? How did that miss? Oh, she's snoring. She's snorting. Do you know what? Let's see if we can attract more zombies. Oh, that is the sound you do not want to hear. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, I love that the headshots actually carry some weight. That is amazing. Birds? Anything? No? All right. Okay. Oh, look at that. A backpack. Got a squirt. Let me see. Wear it. Two nine, three nine. No, the pants are giving me more protection. Otherwise, I would wear the skirt. I mean, after all, I am a lady. With all oh my balls, these pants. Would you not protect yourself, woman? Like, put some pants on that are longer than that. If a zombie gets a bite into that, you're in big trouble. Um, let's go inside and upgrade. Now, yeah, one of the ideas the chat had was actually, it was very funny, is um, just leave these guys here. <laughs> and I suppose I can run in, and then I can let them run in from the Horde Knight, and I can just take them out as they stand on them. <laughs> <laughs> just you know have a little bit of a laugh as the first three fall down and break their legs but um yeah let's um upgrade these guys i think these guys are already upgraded here yeah they're already upgraded so let's do these guys Nice. Excellent. And now we can start this side as well. Oh, did we not have one? That was minus 50. Oh, we only had 50 with us. Yes. So we need another 100, which I think we can easily do. So once the traders open in the morning, I think we can queue up the missing 100. I would think so. We might need a little bit more clay to be burnt in the forge, but I think we definitely should be able to um, get the 100. I didn't realize my camera was that low. Um, or oh, high. All right. Okay, so let's get out. Let's get back home. And then we're going to prepare probably for Ludron. We're going to have to go into town. Which town is easier? I want to stay out of the desert. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. And head towards whatever that is. I don't really want to spend a lot of time digging. But we're going to go on a loot run anyway. So we're going to make sure we have drink on us, food on us, and that's pretty much it. And hopefully we're going to find a hole in our journey so we can start farming, because that's definitely one thing I want to do. Okay, so one of the things um, the guys just asked me to do is make a level 3 club, and they sell for 120. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a way to make money. So get 100 scrap iron quickly, 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 and make and sell and sell, and hopefully buy a mod or two. Um, 10 of them is 1,200 pieces. End of story. Um, the other thing is, um, the guys have suggested they have to be up. They have to be up. Yeah. Okay, so another thing the guys suggested is half blocks that apparently the zombies are not able to walk across. So if we put them up, why is it up? But if you put them up, I would assume they could, could just walk over it. So they can walk across that even with them up. You have to force them to jump. Oh, okay. Like that. So I suppose I can... Will I fall down there? Will I fall? I don't know. I suppose I can jump. Yeah. Oh, I actually... Ah! Damn it! Balls, bastard! Ah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Why do I try things? Why do I try things? <laughs> oh, my balls, man. All right, guys, we're going to leave the episode here. That was something else. I'm such an idiot sometimes, like walking between the whole thing and, oh, yeah, I can just run across. And <laughs> yeah, gravity is not a thing. Why would gravity be a thing? Anyway, so the spikes work. They do. So we know that. But anyway, I hope you guys had a good time either way with the episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming.
Okay, so we got... <laughs> That's what happens when you blindly follow the directions of people that you misunderstand the directions of. <laughs> okay, so let's get back here. I'm freezing my nipples off. Okay, so hopefully my bag is still there. Man, if my bag is destroyed, I'm going to cry. Is my bag down there or is it up here? Please let my bag be somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. Okay, good. Everything's back. Now, we shouldn't be frosty anymore. We have our protection. Now we have the debuff, which is a bit of a pain in the balls, but it's oh, it's, oh, it's half an hour, it's 28 more minutes. But I think if I understood the guys right, what they actually meant to say was, or what I meant to do, or intended to, was this. So I can walk across this, but apparently zombies don't like it. Something like that. I don't know, we figure it out. We figure it out.